Now back to the vlog. Let's give some tzedakah all together with our prayers for our dear brothers and sisters in Eretz Yisrael and the entire world. We should all come out of this hostage that we're all in. We're all hostages in Golis. You know, they tell this little anecdote based on it says in Pirkavod that everything is found in the Torah. So you have these different professions and professionals who are talking says, let's see which is the first profession mentioned in the Torah. So the accountant comes up and says in the parish of the Sri Kitisa where we have the counting of the half, the half coins that everybody had to bring it to the temple, to the Mishkan, to the Beis Amikdash. We needed accountants. Okay. The whole construction industry, including the architect and the engineers, the elec- I guess not the electricians, but the carpenters and so on and so forth. We were there way earlier. When God told Noach to build an ark, a table, he needed the entire building industry. Good point. Surgeon comes around and says, guys, you should be embarrassed. The sixth day of creation. God wanted to create a woman. He took Adam, he took either a rib or a side. He needed to make a surgery. Comes those professional demonstrators, and unfortunately, we, we, see, we see from there, we see ma- way too many of them these days. And they say, We were there on the first day of creation. Yeah, we're so? It says, And the world was in a state of chaos. This is what we are good at. Now, the point is, really, everything is in the Torah. So the Gemara asks a question Where do we find Mordechai? The story of Purim, Mordechai and Esther. Today we'll focus on Mordechai. Where do we find Mordechai in the Torah? Although this happens way later, but it has to be in there. See, Mordechai says yes, actually in the parish of this week, Kitisa, where the Torah discusses the 11 different incense that we had to bring for spices, I should say, that we had to bring for the sacrifice of the incense. One of them is called Mordechai. Mordechai, translated in Unculus, in the Aramaic translation which we find in every Chumash, it's called Moridachya. Moridachya is spelled Mem Reish Yud Aleph. Dachya Dalet Chof Yud Aleph. So we take the first two letters of the Mor, we take the first three letters of Dachya, and we have Mordechai. Beautiful. But says Reb Levi called it. This is a little far-fetched. You take two letters here, three letters over there, and you skip the other letters, you create another word, and that's it. That's a little far, says Reb says Reb Levik, the Rebbe's father. Says, let us look at it from a kabbalistic, ex- the, the simple chat, the numerical value, gematria, and we'll see a magnificent indication. First, he says, the Hebrew word is mor de roir. De roir, which is spelled dalad reish vav reish, corresponds to a numerical value of 410. The month of Adar corresponds Aleph Dalad Reish to 205. We have two months of other, 410, so the Torah first of all says, Mor de Roy, de Roy represents to the happiness, the miracle of the double miracle, the miracle of the month of other. And now it says, let's analyze the Aramaic. Targum, translation, represents a concealment of the original. That's covering the original. So the Hebrew represents the revelation, the Targum represents the concealment. Concealment, which means exile, the moment of difficulty. So let's see what it corresponds to. So when we take the word Mori Dachya, Mori corresponds to 251, Dachya corresponds to 31, a total of 286. The holiday of Purim is called Purim. Why? As it says in the Megillah, Hashem Apur Hu HaGoyral. Haman, when he couldn't decide he wanted to make sure which would be the propitious month, month, time for him to execute his devilish plan of destroying the entire Jewish people. He drew a lot and it came on the month of Adar. The lot is called Pool in translation, in Persian. The numerical value of the word Pei Vav Reish, Pool, corresponds exactly to Moridachia, 286. So the translation is all about exile 
about bitterness, concealment. Mordechai, who is all about Hebrew. Mordechai, who is the leader. Mordechai, who is the savior. The numerical value of Mordechai is 274. That's quickly. Mem is 40, Reish is 200, Dalit is 4, Chaf is 20, Yud is 10, together 274. This corresponds, says Reb Levik, to the Hebrew word of Rav Chesed, abundance of kindness. And it's explained in Kabbalah that Purim is the kindness that came from God is from the level of Rav Chesed, abundance of Chesed. There is Chesed, Chesed Oilam, and there is Rav Chesed. So here we see how when the Talmud says, it's not just looking far for just, ah, we hang up a coat on a certain hook. you know, it is extremely precise. But what we want is not the Targum, we want the revelation of Mashiach now.